because this is our last normal show before the break and we won't really have an opportunity to talk the story is going to be completely dead by the time we get back can we just talk about you don't have to cover the whole thing i just really want to talk about the stepson of the guy who's trapped <laughs> on the sub right now because this is the fucking craziest thing so that i've good. seen in a while okay so i mean yeah he's definitely the best part of the story he's the by far the best part of this story. okay so as you guys know there is a consumer grade submarine <laughs> That is one of like five in the world that takes people down to visit the Titanic wreck, which uh, I learned, I didn't know this, but apparently it is really, really fucking deep down in the ocean, like two and a half miles down. Yeah. It's so deep, it takes them two and a half hours just to descend to yeah. where the Titanic is. Crazy. Um, so obviously uh, it's pretty intense down there. So five people went down there, a billionaire and two of his guests. He paid $250,000 per person, $750,000 total to go down to visit the Titanic wreckage. Uh, the submarine didn't come up. They don't know what's happened. They don't know where it is. They don't know if it imploded down there. They don't know if it floated to the top, is floating somewhere in the ocean. They don't know if it got caught. Any one of those options is possible. And the crazy thing is, like, it's bolted from the outside. So even if they float it up, they'll still suffocate. If nobody finds Yeah, they're that. trapped in there. Like, somebody needs to let them out. They're running- they still technically have oxygen. Until tomorrow morning is Until tomorrow morning. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go take care of something. Are you gonna- He's go gonna go to jacket? the submarine that no He's one go, knows where it is. It's gonna go rescue those people out of that fucking sub, bro! Oh, AV knows where it Holy is. Holy shit! I see. He'll find it. What a hero! A we if, need a if hero! If <laughs> if anyone's gonna find him, it's, it's gonna AB. be A B. Yeah. You're right. Actually, that reminds me. I saw a meme about that on the subreddit. Where is it? <laughs> He's out. He's gone. Where did that sub meme go? I swear I saw it on the front page. I oh, sent you it found in it. Discord. Good. Yeah, somebody posted this, so they were predicting the future. Here's A B saving the submarine at the ocean depths. <laughs> Ugh, that is so him. It's what a lot, guy. Dude. What a guy. What a guy. He's going to have to lose the the life jacket, though, to reach those depths. Right. So I was reading that uh, three hours ago it was that they had 20 hours left of oxygen. I believe they're about 17 hours left now, 16 hours. Um, but apparently at 10, when it got down to 10 hours of oxygen, then that's like pass out territory. Right. Mm. And then there was another theory that <laughs> actually, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> no, if they if they died of suffocation, let's say they're still down there, right? Yeah. That <laughs> the the uh, deceased body, the gases would, you know, expel out of them, thus causing the um, sub to uh, explode or implode. That's interesting, dude. It's under like a freaking like ten thousand pounds per square inch. The farts aren't going to make the sub explode. No, no, no. I'm not saying farts. I'm just saying like. I guess that's true, but, um... The decomposing. De yeah, decomposition. It'll stink like... You know what's interesting? If they are down there, their whole fucking thing is gonna be preserved. Oh, dude. They're gonna be rotting in this little time <laughs> capsule. Huh. The and that'll be there till someone finds it. The memes that are, are going around about this are pretty insane, like, uh... One of the passengers just had, like, three bean and cheese burritos from Taco Bell. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> you, when you watch the tour... I mean, there's piss and shit. It's one tiny little bathroom, that, and it just holds the poop and pee. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, calling it a bathroom is generous. It's a bucket. It's a hole in the that ground. You, yeah, yeah. It's not <laughs> in the in the sub. Yeah. Yeah, I think it. it my feeling, based on nothing, because the submarine is really janky, is that if there was a leak that sprang, the submarine would have crushed under the immense pressure of the bottom of the ocean. I feel like that's what happened because I, I the idea of them getting stuck down there, like how does that even happen, you know, because it's pretty fucking buoyant. And they have backup measures to... It's float. unclear if they have any backup measures and also... So a big part of this is the guy who started this company that does these tours is like very libertarian-brained. Oh um, yeah, he didn't... He yeah, no, that. like I have it in the doc. He did an interview like six months ago where he was talking about how <laughs> regulations and safety protocols all that does is slow you down and like here you go people yeah it, I'll, it's, it, I'll take the sub that's regulated thank right. you yes 
Absolutely. It turns out those regulations are there for a reason. This shit is the only thing that's been on my mind, like, the past <laughs> couple of days. Yeah, yeah, I'm that's, so... That's, Every theory, every possibility, everything. I'm just like, I'm. My imagination's going wild with it. It's, like, yeah. it's all you've been talking about for the past yeah. two days. Yeah. I don't think anything's ever captivated you as much as this. No. My my prediction is that um, I can't decide if it's crushed or if it's down there, but it would be really interesting in like you know 20 years when they go find the sub that's still. I can't preserved. wait to go pay for a tour to. See of the record. Oh my god, yeah. the movie adaptation. <laughs> I mean, that would be interesting, right? It's become such a cultural phenomenon. Let's go see the Titanic and we'll also see this one on the way. It's like a two fork. Mm -hmm. Can we use the 620K on that? It's a turducken. Yeah, and then maybe another one perishes and then you got a whole, you got the hat trick down there. For real. Three boats for one ticket. <laughs> imagine, okay, so imagine getting in a sub and going down. To look at the last idiots that perished in a sub to go do what you're doing. This sub's fine. This sub's safe. <laughs> the last one? That one was fucking crazy. So anyway, this happened. Everyone's talking about it. You guys probably heard about it. But there was a really funny wrinkle, or I guess funny, weird. I don't know. I, I don't even know what to I make of it. I find it very funny. Um, is that the stepson of the billionaire who chartered this sub has been posting to social media. I'm trying to find it. Uh, it's highlight. in the okay. section here under uh, Hamish Harding. That's that's the... Uh, yeah, I got it. So here... He actually isn't the billionaire, although I think he is very wealthy as well. Right? No, no he, this, he is a he's billionaire. He's the billionaire. Yeah. Are there yeah. multiple billionaires? No, this is him. This is the this guy. This is the guy? Okay. Yeah. All right, sorry. So this is his stepson. <laughs> so his first post was this. Hamish, my stepdaughter, is lost in a submarine. Thoughts and prayers that the rescue mission will be successful. That's fair, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? Right. Then he continues. <laughs> he's at the Blink-182 concert. Looking like looking he's having... Looking for the girl a, at the rock show. Honestly, looking like he's having a good time. <laughs> he's throwing up smiles. He's got his, he's got his fly sneakers on. Uh-huh, matches his shirt. Lace he's got, he got the shirt. merch. He's in front of the merch. He's spending money. <laughs> he goes, this might be distasteful being here, but my family would want me to be at the Blink-182 show, as it's my favorite band and music helps in difficult times. I'm Heart sorry, and prayers up. Away. Okay, it's yeah. a little distasteful, but at this point it's still like, okay, maybe... Uh, Just don't post the photo. Right. Because you're acknowledging it's distasteful. Uh-huh. So just don't do it. Just right. don't post it. But okay. He continues. Uh... <laughs> He's Agony. tweeting at Travis Barker, <laughs> the front man of Blink-182. He says... Not the front man, he's, he's the, the drummer. drummer. Oh, okay. Is that the Chloe Kardashian? Yeah, he's the Courtney. one that's with the Kardashian now. He goes... She's pregnant, by the way. Okay, yay. Yay! They've been trying for a while. Yay! Uh, he asks Travis Barker as a direct tweet to him. Times are very sad right now, but I decided to come back to the Blink concert. <laughs> because it's always cheered me up since the Pop Disaster Tour. What is the Pop Disaster Tour? Is that it was probably just the name of one of their tours. So he is looking to get acknowledged. Uh -huh. My rich stepdad paid for these seeds, man. <laughs> he fucking dead now, dude. <laughs> I just came up big time, though. I mean... He looks like he's by himself, too. Well, <laughs> it's going to become clear why as, this, uh, as we continue. So, he, so now at this point, he's trying to use his missing stepdad for clout a little bit. I'm not mad yet. This yeah. is pretty... Mm, I'm like, it's a little mm. clout goblin -y. It's a lot of clout goblin -y, but right. I mean, it's still like, well, this, he's stressed. If it makes you feel better relax. right now. Yeah. No, yeah. this crossed the line. <laughs> tagging Travis uh -huh. crossed, so crossed funny. the line. <laughs> so then now he's tagging Tom Delaney. Is that Tom's the... a singer. I Tom DeLong. Okay, whatever. He's the front man. Tom, I'm back at the Blink Show tonight to comfort me in this time of tragedy. Thanks for the love. That is crazy. Someone said Sync 182. Oh. <laughs> Sync 182. <laughs> so now he's... Is this a multi-day show? What's going on here? Uh, Looks like he went no, back. No, I think it's from... Maybe he went back. He, says, he did Tom, an I'm outfit back. change? Tom, I'm back at the Blink one. Right. Sh yeah, the Blink show tonight. He did an outfit change? He got on I his think new it, fly it, it sneakers. I think it was two shows. Uh, he went on to two another, I think. Okay. Wow. Fucking hell. Yeah, all new shoes, new hat. Uh-huh. 
It continues. This man loved Blink-182. Now he's he's getting desperate now. He tagged everybody. Blink-182, Tom Delaney, whatever his name is. What's his name? <laughs> Tom, Tom DeLong. Tom DeLong. Tom DeLong schlong. Got him. It's a compliment, really. Uh-huh. Travis Barker and Mark Hopper Hoppus. He's tagging everyone. Yes. I went to Blink-182 last night. Not sorry. This band has always helped me through difficult times. For sure, man. For sure. Did you see his Instagram handle, too? I mean, his uh, Twitter handle? Audio guy 182 <laughs> <laughs> Okay, audio, he, is a big, he is a big fan. I mean, clearly, this man lives for the Blink. Okay, so that would be funny if that's where it ended, but, um, but it didn't end there. So here, Cardi B is chiming in. Okay, interesting. <laughs> what did Cardi B have to say with the Titan uh, uh, caressing her? This, so one of this the video, <laughs> like, what is happening right here? I don't recall Titans ever making this face either, but okay. I think this, I, I just, I don't know if she comments directly on him in this clip. Well, go ahead and watch it. I just wanted you to, to see the, uh, the Cardi there's, B there's filter. There's Missy on the, on the water from that submarine shit. <laughs> One of the billionaires, their stepson, is okay, at a concert, is. right? At a Blink-182 concert. And people is like, um, well, what is he supposed to do? Be sad at the house? Is he supposed to go look for himself? Yes. You're supposed to be at the house sad. You're supposed to be crying. I mean, yeah, you should, you should not be out partying. <laughs> for sure. You should definitely be at, sad at the home waiting for news. <laughs> it's like just five far? days, dude. It's not even that long. <laughs> For me, you're supposed to be right next to the phone waiting <laughs> to hear any and updates right. about me. You're supposed to be um, constantly your right. mom and shit. Like, isn't it sad that you a whole fucking billionaire and nobody gives a fuck about you? Like, <clears throat> like you missing and motherfuckers is ready to shake dicks at concert. That's crazy. I'd rather be broke. I'd rather be broke than like. Wait, people are saying he tweeted out the N word just a minute ago? <laughs> like just a yeah. minute ago he no did? Shot. <laughs> no shot. He's N word posting saw, like, right five now? People, five people saw it. Okay, we'll, we'll look into that. It's, <laughs> it, it's, okay. Yeah. There you go. Cardi B is adding to the conversation. And of course, uh, why not? He's also been cruising on OnlyFans, girls. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. Is this all safe for work? Yes, we blurred it. Uh, this girl posted. <laughs> Blur it. This girl said, "Can I DM you pics like this?" <laughs> There's the-, the Ocean Gate is covering whatever's going on here that might be inappropriate. I don't know. He said three hours ago. This, this is happening right now. He says, "You are perfect, dude. Can you not jerk off for just like a few days <laughs> while your stepdad is potentially dying or dead?" It's so funny that he's not dead. He's like actively No, dying. like his yeah, exactly is dying. Yeah, it's like he's bleeding out. Also, he, uh I we we missed this, but the reason I included the Cardi B thing is because he actually directly responded to that with this. Cardi B, we all know your latest release are trash, but is your career this desperate for attention now? Oh my god, Brian. Yeah, she's trying to get clouded up from uh <laughs> from the Brian son guy. Who are you? Brian's about to build like a whole career as a YouTuber now, watch. <laughs> well, Brian the sub guy. We'll see about that. Brian the sub stepson. Mm-hmm. He's gonna be on Twitch soon for sure, begging for subs. Subs for the sub guy? <laughs> oh, mama. You are perfect, he says. Please keep my family in your prayers one hour <laughs> later. He's like, go- he's like going back and forth between horny posting on main and then uh, asking for thoughts and prayers. He responded to it and also qu- quote tweeted it. <laughs> Can I sit on you? Yes, please. <laughs> He said, "Yes, please." <laughs> yeah, right. So, so there was more to that, I think. Yeah, it actually gets way worse. Yeah. Uh oh, Brian, why have you brought this scrutiny on yourself? So it became more of a thing today. I've seen a few people in the chat pointing this out. I actually, I, I saw this happen in real time. I was looking at it, somebody ma- had posted screenshots of him at the Blink concert. And just posted like LOL or something. And then the reply, I clicked on the replies to see what people were saying. And this girl, she had like 200 likes at the time, was like, what the fuck? This is my stalker. Why am I, like, why is my stalker going viral? What the fuck is happening right now? And I was like, what is this about? And it sent me down this rabbit hole. You can open this last uh, album here. So um, this guy just posted a meme about it being funny. 
Right. And then she responded, not my stalker going viral on here for having a billionaire stepdad. This person responded, do not understand how this guy keeps fucking popping up. He shouldn't He shouldn't even be out of prison. <laughs> yeah, so I see this and I'm like, wait, what is happening? And the girl who's accused him of stalking her says, right, that took so much effort just to get him sentenced. It almost makes sense now as to why it was so easy for him to sue his way out. They continue. Excuse me. I mean, what did it he do? Stalked and harassed several people, threatened to shoot up and bomb several events. <laughs> Oh man, you bet you guys better be nice to him, Blink 182. Pretty sure we he was actually charged with stalking people before he joined EDM Twitter. <laughs> she responded, literally this though. Def had charges prior to my situation with him, posted his own prison ID online to try to intimidate people online. Here's uh, the last clown that bullied me online. I fucked up so bad. I was in prison for years. I'm not about talking. He posted a picture. Of his prison ID. His prison ID. Whoa. Oh, dude, it's his pre it's his arrest anniversary. He was arrested on June twenty first, two thousand eighteen. Congrats, bro. Wow. Oh. What a weird coincidence. That oh, is that, so weird. That's so special. It's a birthday. <laughs> Happy pr arrest day, buddy. Happy arrest day. So wow, interesting stuff, man. Yeah. So that was just like, obviously. Totally tangentially related to the uh, Titanic thing, but to me, that's the most fascinating aspect of the whole story. This guy had to yeah. open his mouth, and now everybody's scrutinizing his whole fucking life. Right, and um, just to uh, circle back, I went to his Twitter, and uh, sure enough. Oh, this is from today. This is from uh, about nine minutes ago. He says, quit tripping in my hood. I can say N-word without the E-R, of course. I'm down like that on the set. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Cool. <laughs> My God. Dude, your billionaire daddy is not going to be able to protect you if he's suffocating on the bottom All of the ocean. these haters when I need love and support. <laughs> <laughs> it goes back to that. Okay. So what if he, what if this guy gets all the money? And he just reads. <laughs> He's right. the inheritance. Oh, I hired Blink One Eighty Two to play my birthday party. Right. Yeah. He probably loosened some screws on that shit. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. So, uh, so there it is. What is? I just I wanted to talk about that, and no one will give a shit in two weeks. So <laughs> I had to fit that in. <laughs>